How many times are we going to hear about someone stealing a gun from a car? Seems like we talk about this a lot. This time, Winter Haven police believe these teens that you see right here managed to get inside a car that was parked outside of a movie theater and steal a loaded gun. Officers managed to catch up with the suspects, but what happens when the suspects are caught too late or not at all? Back in 2014, Tarpon Springs officer Charles Condick was killed when Marco Antonio Barilla Jr. shot him seven times. Investigators say the gun was stolen from an unlocked car in Jacksonville four months earlier. Last week, Parilla was sentenced to life in prison. And this just isn't a Jacksonville problem or a Winter Haven problem. This is a local problem. Nightside's Josh Zdorowicz explains how each break-in sets a domino effect of crimes into motion. More than 95% of the cars broken into in Hillsborough County are unlocked. And what's more, in at least half of those cases, there's a gun inside. And we know from several agencies in the Bay Area that it is teenagers who are the main culprits. That starts the wheel of, of all of this mess that we've been involved in. Corporal Larry McKinnon with the Hillsborough Sheriff's Office says it is clear that a byproduct of the teen car theft epidemic in our area is more stolen guns on the streets. They're looking for iPods, they're looking for cell phones, computers, but when they hit the jackpot, it's when they have found a gun. Once that happens, now you've got a teenager on the street with guns. Uh, they're either going to keep them to facilitate more crimes or they're going to end up selling them. There are more than 80,000 stolen guns in Florida's database, but that could be low since state lawmakers do not mandate owners report thefts. And on top of that, McKinnon argues there should be harsher penalties for people who do leave their guns in their car. The last time Florida passed a gun storage law was when it required gun owners to store the weapon away from kids. That was in 1989. We have laws that are on the books that are criminal in nature for parents that don't lock their guns up in homes and the kids get a hold of them. We need to look at whether or not some type of criminal or civil liability when it comes to guns being taken out of cars for people who just have left them there recklessly and these kids are getting into them. So what's being done about it? There is a joint auto theft task force between Pinellas and Hillsborough counties that is working on that car theft issue. But when it comes to the stolen guns, police say the easiest fix is not to leave your weapon in your car in the first place. And some of you on Facebook Live tonight agreed with that advice. Most of you said, though, there's just no excuse for leaving a gun inside an unlocked car. Carrie, the fact that there's a pattern of this really surprised you. Seriously, who would lock their wouldn't lock their cars? Lord have mercy, I am a gun owner, and this was sheer stupidity on the other gun owner's part. Kathy, you agree with her. If you don't lock your gun up, you shouldn't have one. And Jim, you took this even further. You're saying gun owners must be held responsible, and I have no problem with charging a person who fails to secure their weapon with a crime. Well, there's no law about guns in unlocked cars here in Florida, but when, when it comes to just the unlocked cars, there was actually a bill this past legislative session that would have made it a misdemeanor if you left your car keys in an unlocked car and a juvenile used that car to then commit a crime. The bill did not become law and police said it would have punished crime victims.